Hola, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. We're going to be using the tarot cards. Then quickly, we're going to go into the oracle cards and finally see what Spirit message is for you. How are you doing, Aries? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the remainder of the month of March 2021 in regards to love and romance. Let's see what's going on. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sorry if you guys hear the ambulance in the background. <laughs> okay, let's see. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, let's get into your reading, Aries. Your first card here is the Ten of Wands. Um, could feel a little bit overburdened. Uh, perhaps there is a lot of stress that is surrounding um, the person that you're interested in or the person that you're currently dealing with. Your next card here is the Six of Wands. Um, for some of you guys, I feel that you may be dealing with a situation where uh, perhaps the person of your interest or the person that you're dealing with uh, maybe in your social circle, could be around your friends, or it could possibly be a friend um, that you're trying to take to the next level or that you are interested or emotionally invested in this situation. However, I do see the seven of pentacles here. So I feel that someone here is entertaining the past or dealing with the past. We have the lover's card here as well. So I, I feel strongly for you guys, there are situations that are currently um going on in regards to this connection i feel that you guys may feel a little bit off or feel like there is not um communication is not as open as you would want i see you guys very interested or connecting with someone that is like i said in your social circle if this could be friends this could be uh, someone around you that is very close or that is connected in some shape way or form to friends uh, this could be you getting communication from other people about this person of your interest. And I feel that there was some type of rejection or they may be feeling some type of rejection. However, I do see communication opening up much better. Uh, I want to say the last week of March going into April. Now, what they are showing me here is there is been lack of movement in this connection. This can also represent that you're dealing with um with a person that is still dealing with the person from their past uh, i could be that there was communication with the next partner someone that reached out to them they're feeling a bit confused or unsure uncertain about how they feel um however i do see the high priestess here next to the six of pentacles so i feel that uh they will be coming into the understanding that that has already been like long gone it's been passed uh, they cannot or they will choose not to revisit the past only because too much has happened. Um, this could be you as well, Aries, dealing with a situation where perhaps you were being stressed or you were feeling like you were stressed in the relationship or connection that you're in. Uh, perhaps you started entertaining a person from the past. Um, but now you're remembering or understanding the reasons why there was a breakup. Um, I see you guys like changing your mind or saying I'm not going through this all over again. So you're pulling back your energy and I do see you guys feeling stronger um, about moving forward. For some of you guys, it could be that you were still holding on to something from the past. With the six of pentacles and the emperor card here, I do feel that this connection or the person that you're dealing with or the person that has your interest um, will be putting a little bit more effort or will be communicating much more better i want to say the end of march the beginning of april with the emperor card here i see you guys being more in control i see you guys being more confident in yourselves if you are dealing with someone from the past aries and you're currently uh still dealing with someone um that you perhaps pulled away from or decided to give more energy or effort towards the person from the past what they're telling you here is you need to let go of this past with the five of pentacles someone walked away from this connection i'm assuming it was the person that left you it could have been you as well it is a general reading however what they're telling you here is it's time for you to embrace new beginnings and it's time for you to be completely honest with yourself uh, choose not to waste your time 
if you are dealing with someone from the past, it's best you are completely honest with yourself. Um, it's not fair if you're entertaining someone new and you're wasting their time by trying to figure out if, you know, the past is still able, if we're still able to rebuild, if we're still able to fix, um, all the while having someone wait on you. Uh, so just remember, you know, try to be honest, not only to the person that you're dealing with, but be honest with yourself, Aries. Now let's see what messages we have here. I know more than you may think. So this could represent the person that you're dealing with kind of knowing or understanding what's going on behind the scenes, even if you think you're being slick, Aries, or if the person that you're dealing with has pulled away, you're kind of intuitively picking up on what's going on behind the scenes. Um, the next card is, at the moment, I didn't care. I feel that this is the energy of the person from the past. Uh, it could be that they are feeling per perhaps uh, some, you know, it, the, the grass wasn't greener on the other side. They're trying to come back. They're trying to rebuild when, what once was there. Um, at the same time, what they're saying here with, at the moment, I didn't care. Should you really put yourself in a situation where they didn't think about your feelings or they didn't think about how that would make you feel, how their reaction, how they would treat you would make you feel? Um, do you really want to invest in someone that at some point disregarded your feelings? And I lied to you. So... I get the message here very strong for the majority of you guys. If you are dealing with someone from the past, I feel that the only reason why they're coming back around is because they found out or they figured out that the grass was not greener on the other side. If you're still dealing with someone from your present and you are still holding on to that, but also putting effort, like I said, in the past, they will come to the understanding that either you've been hiding this information or you've been deceiving them and lying to them. And I don't see that ending very well. So again, be honest with yourself, Aries. Let's see what Spirit's direct message is for you in regards to this situation. Yeah, see? This is the strength card. This is loyalty. So if in the past you dealt with someone that was unloyal or you dealt with someone that was not completely honest with you, Aries, why are you treating people that are coming into your life as if they were the ones that did you this way do you see what i'm saying there has to be an ending cycle to this and do not misconstrue people people's loyalty or people that have been there for quite a while or have had your you know your back 100 percent thinking that if you continue lying to them or not being honest with them, that they're going to stick around. There's a difference between being loyal and being stupid. And this could be a message for you as well, Aries, if you're currently dealing with a situation where the person you're dealing with keeps going to the past. There is a difference between being loyal and being stupid. Do you see what I'm saying? So what they're telling you here is take your strength and your courage, be loyal to yourself. Learn to be loyal to yourself before being loyal to someone else. And when I say being loyal to yourself, that means standing your ground. That means walking away from things that are not serving you anymore. You've outgrown the situation, Aries. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I wish you guys the very best and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.